exorcist, believer, deceiver, golden retriever is dead. Blumhouse has officially killed the trilogy of David Gordon Green's exorcist, believer, deceiver, golden retriever. Got to put her down, and, Ted. And, yeah, it's got it. Don't Mama, put her down with your boots, Ted. Mama, get the gun. Uh, Mike Flanagan, director of Dr. Sleep, director of The Haunting of Hill House, directing of Gerald's Game, and all sorts of really awesome horror shit, is going to officially be writing and directing an all-new Exorcist film for Blumhouse instead of the follow-up to David Gordon Green's movie. It says here that um, he will offer a radical new take on The Exorcist. Oh, shit. It? Hey, I think that's a great fucking thing no, right now. No, it's not. It's dumb. Um, you stop going to negative town. Come no. back to positive town, me. We're going to get some hoochie coochies. He's got diseases. To reiterate, the new film will tell an all-new story set in the Exorcist universe and is not a sequel to Dave Gordon Green's Exorcist Believer. Plans for that trilogy are no longer moving forward because it fucking sucked. Yeah. Flanagan said in a statement, The Exorcist is one of the reasons I became a filmmaker, and it is an honor to have the chance to try something fresh, bold, and terrifying within its universe. Because she got a huge ass! Yeah. Uh, reuniting with my friends at Blumhouse, with whom I've made some of my favorite pieces of work, only makes this more where we are. Well, uh, I can take a dump in a box of market guaranteed, but I don't got the time. <laughs> if they're going to do it, like if it was just an Exorcist movie that was taking place in the Exorcist universe, if that's what they're doing, okay, I get it, that's fine, but it just kind of makes... So the demon Zadudu, Pazudu Poo Poo Poo, jumped from uh, from Reagan to uh, like it just hung out for a while. But like I'll just go away and then I'm gonna strike. Uh, we have okay. no idea. If it's no, I know. But if they do that, that's that's I can I can maybe get behind that. But that's still stupid. I just think maybe The Exorcist should be left alone. I, I it's it's a perfect movie. The movie is yeah. perfect. That was never going to happen, though, because they paid a fucking gargantuan amount of money to get the rights. So it was never going to just go away. So if they're going to do it, if you have to do it, having Mike Flanagan come in, who doesn't really have a big miss. I mean, like, really, like, you could say maybe I'm not a big fan of Oculus or like or this Oculus. thing or that thing or whatever. Uh, but like, he really doesn't have a huge miss. He doesn't no. have an exorcist deceiver on his record I think at he's all. A I think he's a capable director. It's not that. I just don't think it should be fucked with. But it, that's just my opinion. If if they're going to do it, yeah, I don't think. I think having him him in creative control is better than what they did have. I think it's definitely an upgrade. But I I just still feel like it's it's just so stupid because it's always going to be judged based on the original. It's always going to be and not becoming. But I will. Planning is good though because I The Shining is obviously a masterpiece. Doctor Sleep was a good follow up. Like it, I like Doctor Sleep quite a bit. It's not yeah. The Shining, but it's its own no. thing, and it's and it holds up on its own. Mike Flanagan's The Exorcist. The thing about it is, though, again, I, it, it really I'm going to wait for more detail because right now it's so early on. You need at least a, a rough sketch of what he's going to do. Like if if he's not going in and trying to retell Reagan's story, and he's going to do his own thing, it might work. But honestly, what if they just did a like what? I don't know. We'll just see what happens. But I mean, I'm not like butthurt that he's that he's on board. It, it's it's good. No, I think the only way, dude, the absolute only way to make that a good film, um, in my mind's eye, is to go back and I've said this a thousand times, but to to do what they did in Halloween Kills in the first half of the movie, re recreate the entire set on location. Yeah. Um, to make it look exactly like it looked in the original Exorcist movie. And they proved they can do that because they did it with Halloween Kills. Do that exact same thing. Have that same weird sheen. Have it feel like a period piece. Have it feel like the 70s or whatever. And tell the story there. Whatever story you tell, whether Pazuzu jumps from somebody else to, to, the, to the neighbors across the street, I think it would be interesting if this entire same story was going on just a couple blocks down the road and you tell a whole new story with a new family. But either way, um, I think it's best to leave the original film alone. Don't bring back Linda Blair. Don't fuck around with Ellen Bernstein. Let all that shit be its own thing. Tell a new fucking story with whatever you're going to do and tell it in that same time frame so that while you're watching it, you have the same cinematography, you have the same look and feel and vibe that kind of makes you feel kind of wrong deep down in your tummy. You know what I mean? Like that makes you feel like you might be in for something disturbing. And the second biggest step that they have to do here, and I do think Flanagan is capable of this. Gerald's game fucked me up. There was some wild shit in that movie. He's not afraid to really go there. Um, yeah. and, and not in like a terrible, awful Rob Zombie type of way where it's like, well, let's just have the exorcist fucking right for everybody. 
No, no. I'm going to change everything. I'm going to rape him. I um, watched that. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Um, but no, but he's not afraid to go there and do some really horrendous shit. And I think what they need to do is the exorcist is about one thing, and that's about that's about Demon shock fucking. and oh. pure fucking fear. Like, or, but I think you got to do some really gnarly, shocking shit that really fucks with people's insides, you know, to make it work. I would just, I'd rather, it. I'd rather Flanagan just concentrate on something original and new, like Oculus. Well, I mean, you could say what you want about Oculus, but at least it was an original thing. It tried to be something sure. different. I just well, think yeah. it's, this is just retreading bullshit old school dumbass hollywood that says i don't have any fucking ideas so let's go back to great classics and fuck them up with modern fucking sensitivities and dumb shit in but today's to be fair, art i think that, it's with the, that mindset it's you never dumbest, got dr sleep either i i never but dr sleep was a book that uh stephen king had wrote right. so that was an adaptation of already a sequel that stephen king wrote he was the original author so that makes that's totally different yeah but King's the original director of the, the, books well, I'm saying that it was an adaptation of a book that already existed. It wasn't like we're yeah. gonna make a sequel. But I'm saying, like, I just feel like I see it's just it's just it's bankrupt, it's creative bankrupt Hollywood. That's what it is. The last true exorcist movie to me was the third one, and then it should have ended right there. Like that was it. Yeah, I didn't think the Exorcist TV show was worth a shit. They should have never made it, but people really yeah. like that. Like that that sort of works. So the good news is, I mean, we could have been sitting here waiting on the on Exorcist Believer deceiver whatever the next one was and they could have really tried to stick down that route route and nobody yeah. could have made that work i think but the fact that he's doing something that the initial pitch has people excited and they're in for it and flanagan doesn't have a miss i'd say at worst we're probably in for a pretty decent solid entry into the exorcist franchise of yeah. which there's not that many and again, I, you know? it's all, it, all going to depend when this is more fleshed out and we know more about it like what he's going to actually do with it then I'll be more, uh, I'll have a better, so, more solid an opinion. I mean, I'm like, again, I'm glad he's in the creative control. I think that's good. But again, without knowing whether or not he's going to remake the actual thing, the whole, like an entire remake, or if it's just going to be its, its own separate story within the universe of the, I mean, I, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. It's hard to tell, but yeah. Jonathan, I disagree with that. Playing against the Davis director in Hollywood, dude. I, I saw some shit in some of his series that go to places that most directors would not go. Like it might seem clean or whatever, but dude, he did some really fucked up shit. When you look at the story behind Gerald's game and, and some of the stuff he's done, you know, he, he's no, gone there. He's the guy's right. They should have got the, the Tom six to direct the fucking thing. Get Tom <laughs> six in that bitch. Just nastiness. Yeah. That, that, that nasty. goddamn demon is like, I'm going to staple your fucking lips to that asshole. <laughs> Do I think it's going to be anything comparative to the exorcist whatsoever? No, but I think if you're going to put it in anyone in Hollywood's hands, unless it's Fede Alvarez or someone new, who's really exciting, who, who doesn't give a fuck. Uh, I think Mike Flanagan is one of the top five choices you could have ever asked to do an exorcist movie at this point in time. And I agree with you. There's no reason for it to exist, but like I, we know it's going to exist because they paid so much for it. So well, it might as well be someone who gives us a shot. He gives us a fucking shot at having a great well, exorcist movie. That's why movie. they, they so, canceled that bullshit sequel. Because they're like, we lost a fuck ton of money yeah. on that horse shit. We're going to make some... Listen, there's somebody going to whore out this franchise. Hello. Listener, do you like scary movies? What's your favorite scary movie? Well, Jay and Mike like scary movies, too. You should go and subscribe to their podcast. We watched a movie. Because if you don't, I'll gut you like a... Well, I think you get the idea. Enjoy yourselves while you still can.